The third party manager that is currently controlling the city of Jackson's water system could also soon be in charge of the city's sewer system as well. As 12 News, Leah Williams reports the Jackson City Council voted today in favor of this move. In a special Jackson City Council meeting, council members discussed giving control of the sewer system to third party manager Ted Hennepin. This comes after U.S. District Judge Henry Wingate said back in May that he wanted Hennepin to take over. But before the vote, there were some questions about the agreement. How long is it going to take to get started making repairs? How long is it going to take to finish making repairs? We got so many people that I say live in raw boo boo. Just all through that neighborhood. The fear is 600 to 800 million dollars passing through this city and it not having any business impact whatsoever with our local business community. Uh, and then after Jacob, Stantec, or those leave, uh, the engineers that are here, you know, we won't be, we, we might not be able to call them because they haven't been working alongside, all working as subs. And all of those questions were answered during an hour long closed executive session. The details of the agreement cannot be discussed publicly right now due to a confidentiality agreement. A six to one vote in favor happened during the executive session. We had some very good discussions um, during the executive session, and I believe that uh, most of the things centered around uh, making sure that our constituents have the best service when it comes to water sewer operations. And so we want to make sure those were prioritized and also I think this is a positive step. Now the agreement will head back to Judge Wingate for approval. I think he's um, embraced our whole situation in a positive way that will uh, provide a you know better plan to get our sewer system you know where it needs to be. City Council President Ashby Foote says Judge Wingate could approve the agreement as early as next week. In Jackson, Leah Williams, 12 News.